And we have movement from Stanley, ladies and gentlemen. The this is Stanley. The VW Touareg entered in the DARPA Grand Challenge, a race for driverless vehicles across 60 miles of the Mojave Desert in Nevada. The super hot landscape is one of the most forbidding on the planet. The prize this autonomous Volkswagen was racing for, a cool two million dollars. The goal was to develop a robot that could drive a previously unrehearsed course of up to 175 miles completely autonomously. This was scientifically unknown terrain. Um, nobody had ever done this before and uh, a lot of people have actually said this is impossible to do. We work on a lot of driver assistance systems for the future. So an example would be lane assist um, or uh, an automatic brake system. Uh, if you put all these driver assistance systems together, you end up with an uh, autonomously driving car. Stanley was the result of a public-private partnership between the Volkswagen team and Stanford University. Massive brain power was devoted to the project, but well-defined parameters kept the process on track. Our contribution was everything that had to do with the hardware. So I typically say jokingly, um, if you can touch it, it was our problem. If you can't touch it, it was Stanford's problem. Five teams completed the grand challenge, but Stanley was the clear winner with a time of six hours, 53 minutes. It was the first ground vehicle robot to finish the grand challenge after months of grueling work for the team. They were camped out in the desert for months on end. Uh, they worked 14 hour days to, to repair the car, to write software, to make modifications. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of work and fortunately it paid off. Way back in the day when your father was dating your mother, he may have driven her to the movies in something like this, a 1964 Volkswagen microbus. But thanks to an extreme makeover by the Electronics Research Lab, as long as you have your date, you can have the movie drive with you. We came up with this concept of using an old vehicle to showcase new technologies. This is the Chameleon, and among the new technologies on board are 15 safety and comfort enhancements, including LED headlamps, steering wheel touchpad, electric powertrain, and vein recognition for keyless entry. Not to mention a digital bumper sticker with its own unique sense of humor. They're much more creative and innovative usually than uh, the people who've been working in the in the industry for 20 years. They don't dare, they dare to do things that we say, oh, it will not work. Uh, sometimes it works. What doesn't work is the cost of this retro bus, which means it's not for sale at a dealer near you. But it is true to its original roots, and some of the innovations should soon be commonplace. We do a lot of prototyping. We try to include them in a car. And then if it makes sense, if really we, we feel that the application has a, has a strong potential, um, we showcase that uh, to engineers in Germany. Uh, we use this early access basically to have a, sh a shorter uh, development cycles and to scale, to scale down the time to market. The success of the Chameleon and Stanley has spurred new innovation at the Electronics Research Lab with the largest chunk of research time devoted to driver safety. I think in the future the car is going to be aware of what's around it. It's also going to be aware of what's going on inside it, what the driver is doing, if the driver is distracted, for example, or not, and then will act appropriately. If there's an accident ahead of you, uh, the car in front of you could communicate that to you, and so you could brake uh, before you get to the accident. That goal is still decades away, but if it's a reality in the minds of engineers, it will almost certainly become a reality on the road.